What's going on, fellas? This video is for Gert. Let's go for a little walk here and see what we got. This is the night test of his boiler burner. And we're starting off on diesel here. And I apologize for not having the common sense to wipe the camera off before filming. We're looking at some smudge on the lens here from some sprayed diesel fuel. You can tell we're running diesel by the distinctive blue flame when you increase the oxygen content. This right here is about 1.4 megawatts. I just wanted to open her up to get all the bubbles out. You, you kind of need to do that at some time. You don't have to run the flame, but you need to at least bypass the hose somewhere to get the air bubbles out of there. This right here is our night view of right around 40 liters an hour. That's going to be uh, 40 kilowatts or 400 kilowatts, I'm sorry. We're still sputtering a little bit from the air bubbles in the system. It takes a minute to get those gargled out of there. I went ahead and uh, just flamed it up here for you again. You can see that we're well above two liters a minute. Man, the camera guy's drunk or something here. I'm just shaking all over. I really need to pay attention to this camera sometimes. I'm like getting burned alive. So I know you're never gonna run it this high. I just wanted to show uh, another customer named Jason, what this thing looks like on its max output. I'm probably gonna have to build you something bigger than this, Jason. It's gonna, you're gonna need like two megawatts, I think you said. But um, nonetheless, we're now running on waste oil. You can tell that by the flame. I have switched over the fuel source to waste oil. And that's why we're seeing this yellow color. And contrary to popular belief, the waste oil flame is actually cooler than a diesel flame. It's only about 2,000 degrees max. You'd be hard to get any hotter than that. You'd be hard pressed to get it any hotter than that, I guess I should say. Right here at about a 43 on the setting with the oil I'm using is giving us that 44 inch flame that was right around 400 kilowatts on the diesel test. So it definitely can burn the oil. It, it burns it even better in a confined area. You won't get that little drip action you see there. Every once in a while you see a little something dripping off the face. Kind of like water dripping off a hose as it's spraying. When it's inside a, a very hot, confined heat exchange, that doesn't happen. It burns at all. You can see that in the chicken incinerator video that I did. That it um, definitely burns every bit of that oil once you get it in the heat exchange. So there you have it. My neighbor's got to sleep at some point, so... We're shutting this test down for the night. Give you one more little look at that high output. And um, there you have it. Um, I think this thing's ready for the boiler. It's a little bit uh, windy out right now. So the flames are not sticking out as straight as I would like them to see. But uh, you get the point. I really wish I would have seen the camera looking like this. I would have wiped it off. But you'll have that. I'm out of here, fellas.